Coffee chat day 22. Welcome, sit down, grab yourself a coffee, enjoy the vibe. So I, de I decided to take a lazy Sunday today. So, you know, I haven't been getting up to much. Uh, I've just been spending a lot of time just sort of thinking, really. And, like... Mm, way too much thinking. I think that's all I have to say. <laughs> like, you know, it, it feels like I'm... <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I don't know what's up with that. But, like, I feel like I'm just running through a maze in my own brain. Where, like, I'm trying to figure out all these different thoughts. Like, thoughts. And it's just all sort of coalescing into one pile of noise. And it's like, alright, uh, enough of that. <laughs> Like, you know, I've, I've been trying to work on just being able to turn off my brain. And, uh, I like to think that I can do that pretty easily. But, you know, I, I haven't fully tried to turn off my brain yet. Because I, I do enjoy just losing myself in thought. So, I'm just gonna keep doing it. I was so lost in my own thoughts, too, that I ended up using two sachets in this cup. Accidentally. I don't know why. I poured out one sachet and was like, alright, done that. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it again, completely on autopilot. I didn't even realize what I was doing. But before I knew it, I, I was just pouring like an, a sachet of Nescafe Gold onto another already poured out sachet of Nescafe gold. And I was just there like, all right, uh, okay, I guess we're double dosing today. <laughs> it tastes a lot thicker. Like, I will say that. And the foam on the top is also a lot thicker. So, yeah, and that is the equivalent of two cups of coffee, so hopefully this video will be fun. <laughs> Just got done with uh, Bible reading, uh, not only just the videos that I do, but also just my own like personal reading. So right now in my own personal like reading through it, I started at John and now I'm on to Philippians. And uh, yeah, today was interesting. Like when I was reading through it, I really felt like it was giving me answers to questions that I had yesterday. And it sort of, See, there's like a video that I recorded yesterday talking about a thought that I had that I wasn't going to upload until I felt the time was right. Because I feel like there is some truth in it, but it's such a vague concept of an idea that I can't really just upload it. Like, I believe what I have realized is profound but at the same time it doesn't feel right it doesn't feel correct in what I have said it feels like I went wrong somewhere and I want to try and figure that out and today's reading sort of answered some of the questions about like oh okay I guess that explains a bit more of the thought process I had yesterday then and yeah so I know, it's, there's a whole bunch of concepts, but if you read Ephesians, you'll have an idea of, like, 
that was the uh, book that sort of, well, that was the letter from Paul that sort of, I know, like, it sort of gave some truth to it while also clearing up a few other things in the thoughts I was having. I mean, I can't even, like, you're not gonna know exactly what I was thinking or, like, what I was trying to say, but, you know, when that video does eventually come out, because I'm not gonna change it, I think what I said is right enough. I think there's enough truth in it, but I just need to give it, like, enough surrounding evidence to sort of add on to it. And, you know, I... I don't know, like, it's, it's a bit confusing, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Like, that's what I've been in that whole thought cycle about, so, guess we'll figure it out. And I did real realize it yesterday, after I was stuck in a thought cycle too, where I was sort of thinking about, like, I don't know how to describe it, but if you watch yesterday's video, I think I say, like, oh yeah, I was meditating on Genesis chapter 2. I think it was chapter 2 that I was reading that day. Yeah, no, it was chapter 2 that I read the day before. So in yesterday's coffee chat, well, for you it's going to be like two days before, right? But yeah, in yesterday's coffee chat... I do go into detail about how I was meditating on the whole story of Adam and Eve and like the unification of two into one. And like I came to some realizations about that. I don't think are entirely correct, but either way, whether they are correct or not, in Ephesians, the the way that Paul describes, like, you know, the unification of Jesus to the church, it's like, in some ways, those are kind of linking together in my brain and, like, linking together with the thoughts I was having yesterday. And it's like all sort of creating like this one hazy image that I can't quite figure out, but I'm sure I'll get there. Also, if this is your first coffee chat, welcome. <laughs> like, th this is just sort of stuff that we chat about here. Uh, I, you know, I make like a bunch of different videos on this channel. So... You know, like, it, if this isn't your type of shit, then there's probably something else here that you will probably like. But don't quote me on that. Uh, like, I just upload really what comes to my head. And, you know, I have a few series going on, like the, uh, the Bible readings and these coffee chats. I will say there is like another video that will be coming out on the day I'm recording this, but for you that's gonna be, it's gonna be coming out yesterday. And that is a retaking, like a re, a recreation of the channel saying the keep running when no one else is. I have a video coming up, well, later today. For me, but for you, yesterday, that's going to be about, I, like, it sort of came with the realization and, like, the other thoughts I was having, but it was more like an offshoot. It's basically just going to be revising the original Keep Running When No One Else Is video and making it more. It's going to be making it, like, a more meaningful message. It's going to be... Like, it's, it's a better message than I believe I was trying to convey at first. And, you know, like, I sort of knew that. Like, when I first came up with that sentence, keep running when no one else is, I had it, like, written down on my laptop. 
and I was going to make like just a regular old scripted video about it, but it really stuck with me. And I couldn't tell why, but since I had that change in mind yesterday, it stuck out for having a look like a little bit more meaning to me. And like it's something that's a little bit deeper to me now than it was before where as before it was like very much like a competitive thing like a all right you like before it felt like it was about winning whereas now it feels like it's more about compassion and like love and i really can't wait to put up that video and see what others think about like the new meaning of the saying because i really want to attract like those sort of people that get what I'm trying to say in the video I'm going to be uploading. And it gets really confusing talking about like the upload schedule, I won't lie. Because these are recorded a day in advance. So it it's just always like I need to remember how you are seeing it versus how I'm recording it. Like most of the... This is going to be the first... Uh, advice video that I'm gonna be uploading that was recorded since like a few weeks ago. Wait, no, that's that was the wrong way of saying it. I completely got my words mixed up there. This is gonna be the first advice video that I'm gonna be uploading that isn't from a couple of weeks ago. This was recorded yesterday. Well, two days ago for you. Well, no, it it was it was yesterday for you because I recorded that video yesterday. The keep running when no one else is part two. Record that. Here, I'm just gonna use the. I'm just gonna use days. I don't care. All right, on the sixth of April, I recorded that video. Keep running when no one else is part two. I'm using my smoking tracker as like, not my smoking tracker. I'm using my smoking tracker as a calendar. So it, just bear with me here. Just bear with this whole process. So 6th of April, 24. Yesterday for me, when this goes up, two days ago for you. you know, this video is going up on the 8th. All right, I'm locked in. I'm locking in. So... 6th of April, that was when I recorded Keep Running When No One Else Is, Part 2. And that is going up on the 7th of April. Today, today, my friends. And, but it's yesterday for you. You get it, you get it, you get it. Please tell me you get it. Comment, I get it, if you get it. Ah. Uh. It's so confusing. <laughs> oh. uh, the double, the double Nescafe gold, it's, it's breaking me down. I don't think I've ever told this channel about the story about me taking 24 shots of espresso in one night. I, I feel like I should bring that up because you know, we're talking like, it's a coffee chat, right? I, I should probably talk about just how much I have abused caffeine in my lifetime. Like I first started drinking coffee when I had to stay up all night for like uh, a school project back when I was like 15. And ever since, I have just been abusing caffeine, like my name's Mike Tyson, like it is, it is brutal what I've done to this substance, and yeah, that all culminated in me staying up one night, down in 24 shots of espresso, because I have my own espresso machine down in my kitchen, I downed 24 shots of espresso, I felt like I was everywhere at once, but also nowhere. It was weird. Like, it felt like all of my senses were out of me. Like, I could... 
I could see like details of every leaf in a bush from like a kilometer away. I like that's a bit like that's a bit of a hyperbole, but you you get what I mean. Like it's like I felt like I was seeing life in 4K. Well, not even 4K. Like I was seeing it. Like I was seeing everything just so vividly and like my vision was just constantly darting around from one thing to another and my body was just like see when you get that much caffeine in you the blood flow just constricts so much that your body feels very different like it feels heavier and it's like i don't know it was so weird but i'm very grateful i did that probably not the best for my heart and every time I got, like, a cut or something, for, like, a few months after, my blood was, like, pretty much black. So, maybe not the best idea, but, like, if if you want to try it, like, you know, you, you'll live, probably. Unless you're hypersensitive, I'm not. Like, I can handle a lot of caffeine. But yeah, no, uh, caffeine just gives you, like, superpowers. It's insane. <laughs> now, I've been meaning to bulk up after the end of, you know, like, after Easter and all. Uh, it's been a week and I haven't really figured out my plan of attack yet. All I want, all I know is that I want, like, a good selection of meals where it's like, alright, I like the, like, I like these meals. I can switch out between them so it doesn't get boring. And they all get me, like, pretty much the same nutrients that I'm after. And then I want to figure out how I'm gonna implement that into my life because I really want to like embed it I want to make it something that is routine because when I get into routine then there is no stopping me right but I want to get them like really deeply in routine I want them to be like I want it to be in a way easy you get me like I want it to just be second nature to eat the food that I need to eat in order to gain as much muscle as possible and to put on as much mass, you know, like all that sort of stuff, right? So, I want like a few selections of meals for every meal time that I'm going to be eating at. I want to get a lot of protein in. I want to get pre-workout, so like, I can really make sure that my time at the gym is fun, mainly. Like, that's the only reason I take pre-workout. It's just because it makes it more fun to work out. Uh, take creatine, obviously. And, you know, once I have the meals sorted, then I'll have to, like, get into, you know, grocery shop and make sure, making sure I have everything I need. I might do, like, might prep the meals. But I've never really fucked around with meal prep before, so it's gonna be like a bit... Like, I'm gonna need to learn how to do that. I mean, it doesn't sound too hard, just put it into like, some Tupperware and you're good. But, you know, like, I wanna make sure that... I wanna make sure that I'm locked in on this, right? That's essentially what I'm trying to say. I want to make sure that I'm not, like, eating too much junk either. Although, like, you know, on a bulk, realistically, you can have junk food every now and again. Like, it just makes it easier to add on that extra weight. But the problem is, like, most of the weight that you're going to be adding on that way is body fat. And if you have a similar goal to me, if like, if you are working out, which kudos to you if you are. If you are working out for specifically, like, getting more muscle, then, 
you know, like, what sort of goal I'm trying to get to. And you know, like, if you eat too much junk food, you're just going to be adding on, like, body fat instead. So, yeah. Like, you know, it, I think I know what I, what, like, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to aim for. And I just, I hope that I can just do it, essentially. Coffee's done. That's everything I have to say today. Keep running when no one else is.